to the wedding I'm at tonight. I won't lie to you. This is a mess down here. But everything works. I had to do a quick flip for a ceremony. Didn't have time to shoot anything. There was a lot more going on at this wedding than I showed you in the video. Part of it was because I was just so busy I didn't have time to pull the camera out and shoot anything. I did their wedding ceremony outside and I had some problems because they said they had power and coverage for me, but the place where there was supposed to be power and coverage, there was no power. There was a secondary location that was a little closer, but that power didn't work either. The hall didn't know it, they thought it did. So I had to go to this alternate power source and run about, I don't know, I'm guessing about 60 feet of extension cable to get to it. So it's kind of cumbersome, but made it work. Because that's what we do, right? We make it work. It would have been nice if I had a battery-powered array. Having said that, that of all 50 array traveled beautifully. You, you can see in the photo that I am probably a good 75 feet to 100 feet away from the altar. They could hear everything fine. In fact... I had to turn things down. The music and the microphone was a little loud, so I had to turn them down. So we had headroom, which was good. There was a one hour flip between the ceremony and reception, so I kind of busted butt on that. I had help, and the reason I had help was because I knew the parents of the bride. In fact, the stepfather of the bride and I go back to the first gig I ever had back in 1984. We met at the skating rink I was DJing at when I first started DJing and we've been friends ever since. And of course her mother and I have known each other, oh boy, for probably 25 years. I was the best man in their wedding so I knew people there. And the girl who used to do all the bookings for me at the first multi-op that I worked at who would put me out with different key DJs and kind of help me become the DJ that I became. Uh, she was there too. You saw her back in a few of the crowd dancing shots, but she's kind of shy, so I won't point her out. But it was fun, and I would have picked that camera up more. And the reason I didn't, uh, besides the flip and just being busy, was that Airstream DMX bridge, I was playing with it. I was hitting different shows for different things in the song. I had scenes for breaks, I had scenes for strobe, I had them for slow, I had them for fast, I had multiples for you know, fast, fade, moving heads, whatever. And since I only have one hand, I couldn't have the camera in my downtime and hit all the buttons on that touchpad. So that's why I didn't have so much video. But hopefully next time I'll work it out. That was just my first time out with that. And I was having a lot of fun changing the scenes. There was a lot of really good dancing at this party. I just didn't capture it on video because I was busy. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you at the next gig log. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.